We continue our series on the committee's top contrarian ideas for 2024. It's your turn, Mr. Belsky. What do you have? Well, how about REITs? Everybody hates REITs. Here's why. Commercial real estate is never coming back. We're never coming back to the office. Interest rates are going to be high forever. And given the fact of what rates did last year and everyone selling high yield, remember the month of October, these stocks just got crushed. So guess what? We want to take the other way, right? We want to take the other way. We want to buy REITs and find REITs in spe very specific stock picking, like Boston Properties. We added to our several portfolios December 1st. It's up 25% since then. We've owned uh, Prologis, PLD, for several years. It's mm -hmm. an industrial REIT. And in the small mid-cap space, Cube, 20% of their business is here in New York City. So as we continue to store things, especially in New York with us moving around a little bit, I think that's a really great theme. Now, given the fact that it's 3 3.5% of the market, Scott, you can actually have a little bit higher tracking area in that and have a 1% position in each one of these stocks and be overweight. That's why we like it. What's your take here? Because I think it was Anastasia where, yesterday or the day before <laughs> who picked the same thing. This is where we use the word nervous. It makes me nervous that everyone who's uh, contrarian play has been that they believe real estate will be strong in, in 2024. Jenny also. Jenny also as well. So I, I actually believe I, I like the tactical perspective on looking at the REITs. Um, obviously, things associated with apartment buildings and commercial real estate, there's going to be some difficulty. Uh, the tactical element I like, but I'm a little bit skeptical given how many people believe that it's the contrary well, in from, from a performance perspective, though, you have to be really careful because the dividend aristocrats got hammered last year. And the reason why is because of high yield, mm -hmm. not dividend growth. That's number one. Value got hammered. And what's going to end up happening, we think, is this reversion to the mean. You want to own these other disciplines. And that's why a part, uh, having your portfolio apart in REITs and having that payout ratio is going to help you. Shan, do you like it or no? Yeah, I mean, I um, I think that there's, you know, lower cost of capital. And I think if you're looking at REITs specifically, um, Brian makes a great point in that it's not, it, there's not a lot of office when you're looking to buy REITs in the U.S. market. And so you don't, that that's an overhang that's probably overstated, even last year with the higher cost of capital and ex expected I mean, higher defaults. Let's be clear, too, not all REITs are created equal. Mall right. REITs, office REITs, like Jenny's got, like medical building REITs, you know, th things data like centers, that. Data centers, you, you, you have to be, yes. Your, your uh, warehouses and things like that. Right, like a technology. Think about how important technology REITs are going to be going forward in terms of increasing technology. Think of industrials as well. We're going to store all this stuff. And on the retail side, remember, post the financial crisis, a company called Simon Properties did an amazing job can imagine all that retail that went away after the financial crisis. So there are times when you need to get into REITs, and I think now is, is an apropos time. All right.